Allow me to show you something. So today we're gonna try Columba. Let me take it on the pack. Today we're going to try Columba, which is the traditional Easter bread or pastry of Italy. And it's called Columba. And Columba actually means dove in Italian. Now, you could try to find the shape of the dove, but obviously it's like a bread, so you wouldn't see it too much. But just think the head, the wings, and the tail. And it is, it's uh, similar to the panettone, but it has these like sweet treats or whatever on it. So let's taste it. Like it's similar to the panettone. Like it's similar to the panettone. But it's like a much sweeter, it's a much sweeter flavor, taste. Yeah, a much sweeter taste. Much more citrusy taste. Mm, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's nice. But this is a much smaller one because it's just both of us and we didn't think we were going to finish a whole one. But they are, made, they are basically the same size as the Panasone. So the huge ones but in the shape of a dove. And yeah, so we're going to finish this. And have some sparklies. This is Assi, which is a sparkling wine that you're supposed to eat with sweets or fruits. So, but they say that the four, 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 no. So that's hot pastries. Yeah. Oh, well, we have it with cold pastries and fruit. However, okay, ciao. Well, I'm Kisha and today we are in the kitchen. So Friday was Jamari's birthday. Good morning from Le Como. Oh, today is Jamari's birthday. Tell him good. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. He says thank you. Thank you. <laughs> river. He leaked. Give me river. I real disrespectful. <laughs> Yeah, he has been wanting a Trini brunch since last year. So this year we finally got into the woods. And since it's Easter, because his birthday actually this time did fall on Easter weekend. So today is Easter Saturday, tomorrow is Easter Sunday. And we're going to have a Trini brunch and we're making hot cross buns. So this is the first time I'm actually going to be making hot cross buns. So come make some hot cross buns with me. Um, <laughs> I have the ingredients set out already. So I have flour and I got this one because for Farina de America because selecting flour in Italy is not as easy as buying flour could be. <laughs> so I just got this one because I see a bread on it, so I know it's a bread flour. Um, the flour in Italy, this one is a bit explanatory because it has like what it's for. But usually you'll see like tipo, um, zero 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 one zero two, and that's like the, I guess the fineness of it. 
and then it has well this one in particular has what you could use it for so for dolce for pizza for pasta and for like bread and things that you're going to like lightly fry not like a deep fry or anything like a light crust so this is what you'll use like the tipo uh zero zero four but i've realized um since making like breads and stuff like that using like more dense things with the zero zero is not the best like the texture is a bit weird so i just got the american tipo which still says zero so I'm kind of interested in that <laughs> because it still says zero, but they say it's for breads and stuff. So hopefully the texture is a good texture that I like. Anyway, an orange so I can get the zest, lime so I can get the zest, uh, cinnamon, nutmeg. This is for the top of it. Ice and sugar, milk, well, white sugar and brown sugar, but I think I'll just be using the white sugar, butter an egg <laughs> and um raisins i don't really like raisins in mine but bar likes raisins so he's getting raisins because it's his birthday also in the meantime while that's going i'm going to be making some sorrel um it's not christmas but just because just because it's uh, like a training brunch we said we'll have these sorrel so um again i got the dried I guess what do they call it? The bisap, the sap. So which is basically the hibiscus. So I'm gonna put some water and get this going while I prepare the dough for the hot cross buns. So I just let the stove into the pot. I'll put a cinnamon stick, like five cloves. Hmm. If it's a bit more, okay. and then. the sorrel. Give this a whirl and leave this to boil for about 20 minutes I guess. Because it's the dried one I don't think the time is that long. Oh how could I forget my star on these and one oh, one star on these. That sorrel is making this kitchen smell so good. Anyway, I'm about to get started with the hot cross buns, and everybody has a different method. Um, how do you guys make it? I see two people doing the dry ingredients, wet ingredients, then mixing it together. Some people put in just everything together and mixing it. Like, what is your technique? Also, I'll be using the um I'm not going to be doing the frost, I call it a frosting, the icing cross. And we're actually going to bake it in with the flour paste because I just I don't know for me I just find it looks elevated it looks a little better not as sweet as the other one and not as messy anyway yeah let's begin <laughs> okay so first I'm going in with four cups of flour I'll be putting a cup of milk to warm to the warm milk I added the yeast and mixed it up a bit and just left it to the develop while I continue the rest. So into the flour I added sugar, salt, some cinnamon, also some nutmeg and then I went in with the lime zest as well as the orange zest. It was half the lime and half the orange. This is not the best grater but anyway mix that up a bit and then I went in with 50 grams of butter so I was just measuring it on the scale um and then i had to incorporate the butter into the flour i was trying to use the fork but that clearly wasn't working so i went in with my hands added the milk uh, well and the yeast also added the egg and went in to mix it with my hand mixer on the with the dough hooks uh if you want to see the video for this mixer it's linked above i got it from amazon but all the details is linked in that video and once i got it incorporated enough then i went in to knead it with my hands because it would not have have been as sticky you know as when the dough is now started <laughs> 
then I chopped up the raisins a bit because I did not want it to be like the whole raisins <laughs> so added that to the dough and went ahead and continued kneading I probably kneaded it for about five to eight minutes if I remember correctly and to get a better knead I put it on the counter because the bowl could be a little annoying <laughs> then i left it to rest in a greased bowl i covered it with the plastic um and in so yeah so that it's you can see how it rose <laughs> so you just deflate it a bit and i saw a method where they left it to raise twice so this is me putting it to raise again in the meantime i'm making the um the mixture for the top of it to make the crosses which was uh flour icing sugar and water so you're just making it into a kind of paste consistency and i'll put that aside went into the dough again so i just cuffed it out and sectioning it now to make the balls for the hot cross buns and i was trying to be a professional and trying to get all to be the same size but after a while i think i gave up the majority of them were between like 70 to 60 grams <laughs> so yeah i put it down leave it to rest to rise again and now i'm making the crosses y'all this is my first time one i made the hole in the bag too big and then two i don't know if the texture the consistency was the best but i made it work like these crosses crossing <laughs> so yeah I put it in the oven i left it a little too long so it came out a little too crispy and then i made the glaze which was basically sugar water but it was like a spiced sugar water so it was equal parts of water and white sugar and you leave it to boil for a bit but i added cinnamon and bay leaves to it good morning so last night i basically stopped filming because i just wanted to finish but that's basically how the hot cross buns came out now this morning i'm making the dough to make some fried egg so and we still have some other things to do <sighs> we are so late but anyway i'm about to start the fried egg so let's see how this is going to go Talking to me. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Easter Monday. Y'all, yeah, after the fry, fry bakes, I did not vlog again. One, the battery died, and things just continued until 4 a.m. this morning. So, <laughs> hi, I'm back. <laughs> so, 
know, I have to give you an update with no visuals because there are no visuals. <laughs> no, no, let's burn up so I can just talk for a little bit. So, brunch was great. <laughs> It was really good. Like, it's not the first time because last the last time Barry had it, when he was by himself, he did a few things. So they got to taste, they tasted a few things. And um, we had another lime and we made like al pies. So they have a taste of it and they like it. But this time we made some new things. We didn't make everything that we wanted to make, but it they they really enjoyed it. So I made the well the hot cross buns. We did well the fry bake. After later on, I did some pilori. We made some tambran sauce because we got some of the tambran, well, the pulp they call it, but it still had the seeds. So we made tambran sauce. We made <laughs> the alu. I don't even call it alu choker, but the um the potato stir fry thing. Bar made it. Uh, we made jira pork. We made saltfish bulgur. We made. Tomato, no, we didn't do the tomato tripper. We wanted to do tomato tripper and melon gen bulge or whatever, but we didn't have time to do it because we would have had to roast it and then make it. And uh, no, and we did fried sausage. Oh my god, Ugh. and we did fried sausage, it was delicious! Delicious. Oh, coconut bake, we did coconut bake, so we had the fried bake and we had coconut bake. And then uh, I also made pineapple chow and mango chow. So I don't know the type of mangoes that they have, where they imported from, but of course it's not like our type of mangoes, but it was still good enough. Um, so mango, pineapple, and we use, of course we don't have shadow benny, but we have not just the parsley, because the parsley is not the, the one that we want. We use the, I don't know, is this cilantro? This one with these smaller leaves, these are kind of dead. <laughs> but these have a stronger flavor than the parsley. Because we went to the market um, to get it, because of course you don't always get everything in the supermarket. And in the Saturday markets, it's a lot, the vegetables, fruits and vegetables are a lot cheaper. It's something that we said that we wanted to do, but <sighs> sometimes when you just want to get things done, you just go downstairs, go to the grocery, get it. But I think we might start to continue so we may continue to go to the market. So it has the weekly market and the Saturday market. So we'll probably do the Saturday market uh, to get the fruits and vegetables cheaper, but yeah. So went to the market, got those seasonings that you don't know, usually get in the grocery. And yes, and the chow, no, the chow tastes really good because I like real garlic and apparently, like other people like garlic as well, but then cooking, like the cooking that they're accustomed to does not use a lot of garlic. So they were happy to have garlic in that abundance in a dish and usually like a lot of our dishes people will always say oh or we can all always see that it's similar to this or it's similar to that but the chow surprisingly was the first thing they were like you know they've never had anything like it and they loved it <laughs> so yeah so that was that we had um mimosas we, I cannot tell you the amount of Prosecco that we had yesterday, the amount of bottles that we finished yesterday. So we started at, let's say, 11. We were still going at, like, about 7, like, 6, or, like, till about 6. And then um, one of our friends' friends, or someone that we know from Trinidad, was in Italy. So then we went out <laughs> to meet them because they were in Milan for, like, a day or two. So we went out to meet them last night after all of that. And yeah, we didn't get back home until 4 a.m. So now today is Easter Monday. And I'm going to make some stuffed sweet peppers. I wanted to make baked potatoes, but we don't have like rustic potatoes or potatoes with that hard skin. Um, so the skin on this potato is way too like thin. To have the structure for the baked potatoes so what i'm going to do is make mashed potato and then do like a loaded sweet pepper the way that you would do the baked potatoes so let's see how that goes potatoes have finished boiling and what i like to do just to make the skin come off easier is just like with boiled eggs is to dump them in some cold water Okay, so before this gets 
less hugs. Going in with some butter, some milk. If you're not new around here, paprika is a staple in the kitchen. Added also added some black pepper, some salt, mixed it around some more. I didn't want to use the emulsion blender because I didn't want it too creamy. I still wanted it to feel like you know it was from the oven <laughs> anyway added some green so that was the parsley now adding some sive which i guess is like the stem from the green onion and mix that around and now i'm gonna prepare this sweet pepper <laughs> so because the other one was weirdly shaped i decided just to cut this in half so cut this in half and take out like the membrane and the seeds if a little bit of these seeds stay back i don't mind too much but basically take out the majority of the membrane and the seeds and stuff up this baby so <laughs> to the bottom i added some cheese more than likely i think that was parmesan grated parmesan cheese and then i stuffed my baby up with the potatoes um <laughs> yeah <laughs> self-explanatory stuff the sweet peppers with the mashed potatoes now add in some more of the parmesan cheese and then i didn't have well we really get block cheese here if we do buy the block cheese that's if we find the like british cheddar cheese which is the closest to the cheese that we have in trinidad so we usually buy like the sliced cheese like this sometimes so to grate it i just like rolled it up roll 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 and there's grated it <laughs> So this cheese is not like the best, like the cheese melts, but it's not like a pulley, like mozzarella or gouda or that type of cheese, but it works for the purposes. So anyway, grate it and just sprinkle it up top, add the sweet potatoes to the, why well, I saying sweet potato, I'll probably feel it for sweet potato. Anyway, added the stuffed sweet peppers to the oven and this is how it came out looking. It looked so cute. And then we just had it with some rotisserie chicken. A little garnish to make it look a little cute um but yeah <laughs> so basically uh stuff sweet peppers and rotisserie chicken it was delicious yum 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 <laughs> 